Hey everybody, let's make it pop. It's Matthew Reinhardt here, and today we're gonna make a really cool pop-up fire truck card. Ooh, who doesn't love a fire truck? Well, let's get started. What you're gonna need to do first, if you just click on the link down below, you can download the templates and print them out onto cardstock, 110 pound cardstock, any color you'd like. First, what we're gonna do is score all the fold lines. There's dotted lines, and those are where gonna be where all our folds for our pop-up pieces. So use a ruler and then use a, a big paper clip and you can rub the edge of the paper clip along all of the black dotted lines. And just use your ruler, lay it along that dotted line and just press a little bit with that paper clip. By the way, um, this is Kirsten. She's giving me a hand here. Well, two hands <laughs> when we're making this pop up. Once you've scored all the dotted line, the next step is cutting out all the pop-up pieces. And what you're gonna do, all those solid black lines, those are the lines that you're gonna use to follow um, with your scissors. And you're gonna cut them out very carefully. Take your time. You know, sometimes, if you can see here, Kirsten actually, she actually rotates the piece of paper to cut out the pieces so it's a little bit easier. That way you don't have to move, you don't have to move your scissors as much. You can move the paper to follow it. So you're gonna cut out all these pieces very, very carefully. Make sure that you don't cut your fingers. We don't want that. Now there's one more large piece here and there's a little, see there's a little window on the inside of the piece. What you can do is you can use a pencil and you can just poke into that piece and then you can use some scissors to cut out the window piece very carefully. And if you want, you can use a couple different pairs of scissors, small scissors, big scissors. So here are all the pieces. And we're gonna pre-fold all these pieces. So along that dotted line, because we scored it, it's a lot easier to fold it in place. Look at that, perfect. All right, let's pre-fold this piece here. We're gonna fold these little tabs going this way. And that little one there, like that. We're gonna fold this going this way. I'm gonna fold these pieces kind of like this. This is a V-fold that we're pre-folding right there. Just like that. And we're just telling it which way we want it to go. Now we're gonna fold the back of this just like this. This is the side of the truck. Then we're gonna fold these tabs. Let's fold them going this way. just like that. All right, there's one piece. Now let's fold this other piece right here. This one long piece right here, this one long tab, just like this. And then it folds here. And then there's one more fold, just like this. And again, the reason why we're folding all these pieces like this, we're pre-folding it. We're telling that paper, hey, you're gonna go this way. We're gonna fold that way. So this gives that paper an idea of which way it's supposed to go. All right, let's get to decorating. So you can use markers, crayons. Um, you could use colored paper if you wanted to decorate this. You can do anything you'd like to, to, to decorate this. We're gonna have to actually do some decorating before we um, actually assemble it. And this, this piece here that she's decorating, that is the main body of the fire truck. And this piece here goes on top of um, the fire truck. It's kind of like, that's the attachment to the, to the ladder. And this is gonna be the ladder here. Ooh, she's coloring it in. So you can use markers, crayons. Um, you can use um, glitter if you like. You can use um, whatever you'd like. Now, if you use glitter, you have to make sure you let those pieces dry and that glue dry before you assemble everything. And right here in this area, this is where we're gonna draw our our fire person, our, our, our um, firefighter, there we go. See, that's where they're gonna go inside of the fire truck. Nice. I know you all can decorate it really, really beautifully. See, it's gonna go right inside. Now we can get to assembling. First we're gonna use some, to assemble we're gonna use glue. This is just regular old um, white uh, craft glue. And we're gonna glue these two tabs in place. See there, that's uh, glue tab A and glue tab B. And those, those tabs fit right within that spot. And see, when she's adding the glue to that gray spot, she's not using too much of it. She's almost like she's 
painting it into place. See? So be real careful you don't get a big glob everywhere. You don't want a big glob of glue and you, a big puddle of it so everything sticks to each other. Just make sure that you get a little bit within those spaces. And we're going to glue this piece just in place. See? That tab fits exactly to the, to the gray area on the base page. We do that so that you know exactly where to assemble the pop. Press it down, make sure it's all in place and it's lined up properly on those gray spots. Now see these three tabs down here? We're going to glue them in place just right there. So again, we're going to put some glue just within the gray spot, not a big old line of it, just within the gray area. Just like that. And then we're going to press it down in place. Be real careful. You're going to see that each tab fits within a perfect spot. Just like that. Press it down, press it in place. Make sure you've got it straight. And you know how you'll know you've got it straight? Because the tabs on the top that you see on the top that haven't been glued down yet, they should line up with the glue areas up top. See those little gray spots? Those tabs should line up exactly with the ones that are on top of that. First, we're going to do that one. And it folds under, actually. See how it went under? So we're going to put the glue on the gray spot. We're going to put this glue tab right there. See those two tabs? There and there. We're going to glue those two tabs now down. Just like that. Just right there. There's a little one. And there's the diagonal one. All right, now we've glued all the tabs in place for the main body of the fire truck, and we're just gonna flatten it shut, make sure it works. Ooh, look at that. This pop-up uses layers and V-folds. Next, we're gonna glue on the ladder. Now, see the little triangular end right there? It fits right there on that V-fold, right on that triangle. And you see that little, that nub there? It actually goes into that area. See how that, that rounded shape goes in just like that? We're gonna place it just on that triangle. Next up, we have this little odd shape here. It's kind of like rectangular-ish, but it kind of it actually kind of looks like a car without wheels, but it's going to be the back of the fire truck. So you're going to glue it into place. See, it has a gray spot that it fits exactly onto, just like that. And there you go. Wow, it's our very own pop-up fire truck card. Woo! That is amazing. Three alarm fire, everyone. We've got a pop-up. Look at that. That's how it's going to work. It actually has, like I said earlier, it's, it's a bunch of layer pop-ups and also a V-fold. And it looks really cool. Well, I hope you've enjoyed making this pop-up fire truck, everyone. Um, and I want to remind everyone, if you really like pop-up fire trucks, be sure to check out my brand new book. It's coming out for a new series of books I'm making for preschoolers called What's Up Fire Truck? It's a new book in my series Pop Magic, which is all these different great board books for preschoolers. And um, this is my first one in the series. The book actually turns into a playable fire truck. It's so awesome. So it's a book. It's a fire truck. Check it out. Anyways, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this DIY craft. Let's make it pop all the time. Um, if you like this, this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe below. And we'll have more. See you next time. Bye, everyone.